know, you already save a lot of money every year thanks to our videos. So save on car parts too. Buy them on the Mr. Auto app. Shipping is free. In order to change the oil, you will have to purchase an oil filter, a pre-oil change cleaner and an oil collector. You can find the recommended parts and products in the video description as well as in the link to know the type of oil and the amount needed. Turn off the ignition. Pull up the handbrake. Pull on the bonnet release lever and open the bonnet. Open the oil fill plug. This will increase the oil flow when performing an oil change. Before changing the oil, we recommend adding a pre-oil change cleaner to the used oil. This will enable you to unclog your engine and get rid of any persistent residue, to reduce your consumption of oil and fuel and to reduce the polluting emissions as part of a technical checkup. Before using it, start your vehicle for 5 minutes so that the oil is slightly warm. Then add the product and leave your engine turning over slowly for 10 to 15 minutes. Once the product has been added, you must not drive your car. Ensure that you change the oil immediately afterwards. In order to drain your vehicle, you must first lift the front section of your car. This will enable you to access the drain nut. Lift the front of your vehicle and put it in the two axle stands. We strongly suggest watching the tutorial Racing Your Vehicle Safely before carrying out this step. If the front plastic crankcase is present, you should now remove it to have full access to the drain nut. You can now see the drain nut. Unscrew the drain nut. Use the wrench to begin with and finish off the process by hand. Be careful on the last few turns, the oil can squirt out suddenly. You have to anticipate this by placing a container underneath to collect the oil. You can learn how to make one by watching another of our videos, how to make a collector for liquids. Since the oil is slightly warm, we recommend wearing gloves. Be careful on the last few turns, the oil can squirt out suddenly. Let the oil run out for 10 minutes or so. Replace the drain seal with a new one, then screw the drain nut back in. Start by hand, then finish off using a wrench, without being over sellers, of course. When you change the oil in your car, you must also replace the oil filter. To be able to access the oil filter, you must disconnect and separate the air supply conduit. To do this, insert a screwdriver into the notch located on top of the radiator, leave around the conduit and then move it. Please support us, subscribe and like the video, that will be really cool. To collect the oil contained in the filter that might come out when it is removed, place a liquid collector underneath. Unhook the hose located on top of the oil filter. Since the filter is difficult to access, it will be complicated to release it by hand. We recommend using an oil filter spider wrench. Otherwise, watch the tips video, releasing a blocked oil filter. Unscrew the filter, turning it in an anti-clockwise direction. When it has been released, turn it upwards to avoid spilling any oil. With a new filter in hand, lightly coat the seal with oil in the screw side. This will help avoid too much friction between the seal and the engine block. Friction can reduce the seal's waterproofing. Coating with oil also facilitates assembly. Rescrew the filter until you feel contact. When this happens, take it fully in your hand and add an additional half turn to tighten. Put the hose back in place. Reconnect the air inlet conduit. Now, you have to put the oil back into the motor. You have to be very careful and precise when doing this part of the job. 
Firstly, put the crankcase back in place, then lower your car back on the ground and check the oil level. This is something that can only be done when the vehicle is flat. Now add the oil into the engine. Begin by putting 90% of the suggested amount. This will leave you a large enough margin to adjust the level of oil appropriately. You can find the exact amount of oil suggested for your car in the description of the tutorial. Close the oil field plug, start the engine and let the car run for 30 seconds. This will fill the oil filter. Remove the oil gauge and wipe it down. Plunge it back into its sheath, remove it again and check the oil level. The optimal level is near the maximum, but be careful never to go over it. Based on the level indicator on the gauge, readjust to obtain the optimum amount. Operation completed. Hello, if this video helps you, like and subscribe.